Hey everybody, Sammy here. Um, I hope everyone's having a great summer. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a video in a while, but today I really wanted to show you this card before I sent it out to a friend who lives in the States who's really into the steampunk and she absolutely adores fairies as well. So the the minute that I saw that Crafty Paws, Christina here on YouTube, um, made this digi um, for her blog um, website which I'll post down here in the link for you guys to check her out because she's very talented and very amazing so I I had to do something with this right away as soon as she posted it so um, this is the steampunk fairy and I just really oh yeah thank you so much Christina for watching this beautiful beautiful piece um, of a digi I I colored her in with um, pencil crowns, as you can tell. Um, I don't really have many Spectrum Noirs or the colors that I wanted to color her in. Um, I only have like one or two Copics. So, and I really didn't want to kind of use the distress markers on her either. Just, I was kind of worried that they might run if she got wet in the mailing process. So, um, but wherever you see green, which you can't tell with my phone because it gives crappy quality sometimes, um, I use my Wink of Stella pen, um, everywhere you see green, just to give her kind of a little fairy glitter, <laughs> her little fairy dust, um, I, and her goggles as well around the rim, also has some Wink of Stella. Um, inside the the goggles where you would normally see the glass, I actually put some... Um, glossy accent on to kind of give it some shimmer and shine um, to kind of give that glassy look and that's all I really did for her um, kind of had to fussy cut her out but so that's why you probably see more of the white but I really I just really like how she turned out I thought she was super sweet um, with the paper around the back um, this one here I actually got at a yard sale uh, I got like 10 for like I think like 25 cents or something like that um, and they're all good quality uh, papers too I think I actually saw this at Michael's I don't know, probably like a dollar for the sheet um, it's some 60 some odd cents I don't even remember at this point but uh, I was very happy and I really wanted to use it so I this is the this is the perfect thing I thought <laughs> I accented it with um, a bit of brown so I uh, I also distressed along the edges with Vintage Photo from Tim Holtz and Ranger. So I don't know if you can tell. Again, like I said, my camera might not do do this card justice all that well, but it looks really it looks really cool um, in person. Um, the gears here, um, I use the La La Land Crafts die. I think it's called the Gear Borders. This here. This here is the website um, to go if if you're interested. They have different kind of uh, die sets. I also got a couple from Halloween. I got these um, back in June, which I never did a video for. Um, so I'll, uh, let me see, I might actually have, uh, after the card I do today, um, I'll show the, the other two um, die sets that I got um, as well. But I, I tried to use it with different paper. Um, I tried different techniques with the gear, but I really liked how uh, I liked how it was like more of a black silhouette um, for the gears. So uh, eventually, I didn't have any. Uh, I wanted to really use like silver and gold, but I, unfortunately, I didn't. Ha I wanted to use paint, but I actually didn't have any. Um, so uh, I was gonna mix glue and glitter together. I didn't know how well that was gonna turn out, so I kind of just hesitated to make kind of like homemade version of um, paint or you know use acrylic paint and throw some you know I have tons of glitter I just figured I just didn't want to waste too much unfortunately because I'm on the spending my own little summer um, spending freeze here uh, also what I've done is I used the studio calico um, wood veneers um, and then I just took the wing Costella and kind of co just colored over them with it you can tell that I actually used uh, it on through here it's a little easier to tell Let's see just to kind of give it some some little shine as well um, unfortunately you just can't really see it too well on the little steampunk fairy here uh, the little musical note um, I got in in a package um, the three dollars section at Michaels um, the packages look like this here 
Um, I was going to use both musical notes, but it was kind of more of like a, an afterthought. Um, the first one, this is the part was just a little easier to make a small incision and to slide it in. It was, it's kind of like a paper clip that I just kind of stuck in. Um, but because I decided only to use the one, that's when I came up with using the, uh, the hearts. So this here is my card, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the inside here, I just had an extra border that I just placed inside to kind of to kind of give it some to give it something anyway. Um, so I'll just fill out a message here for my friend, um, and that is my card. So thank you everyone for um, watching. Um, all right, the dies. Let me see here. I just have to. We shouldn't be too far here. Um, also, um, when I got these back in June, the one the one of the other die sets I got um, was this here. This is a, uh, I don't, to be honest, I don't remember what it's called. They don't really have the names for them on here. But I think it's just like, uh, I think it's called an iron fence. But I could be wrong. Um, definitely go check them out um, online and I'll tell you for sure. But I got this, which I figured it would be good all year round. Um, Halloween's coming up so I can make some pretty good cards and spookiness with this. Um, and then because Halloween was coming up, um, I ended up getting this spider web kind of quarter corner web. Um, I do believe, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, um, I think I waited maybe two weeks to get these in order, maybe not even. Um, I purchased them the same time when I got the digis. So definitely check them out. But um, thank you everybody for um, watching the video today. Um, I hope everyone is enjoying your summer. And I hope everyone has a crafty weekend. And hopefully I'll get more, a video up sooner than later. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> Bye.